Welcome back everybody for another thrift haul. You're here obviously to see all my antiques. We're doing a big haul of antiques. Just kidding. Antiques are my favorite. I'm an antique nerd. I also am wearing a mic here and it's going to be echoey because this is the best room to show you a haul in my house. And plus you get to look at all this scenery of antiques. You don't want to look at me. You want to look at this stuff, that stuff, and whatever you have in your hand or what you're eating. Because this is going to be a little bit longer of a video because we have a lot of stuff to show you. Now I'm going to tell you a lot of this stuff here came from multiple sources. That's going to be the topic a little bit, you know, teacher topic, whatever. It's going to be, you have to source from multiple places, right? You can't just source from the same thrift store or whatever. You got to find other ways, whether it be online auctions, whether it be retail arbitrage, other thrift stores, house sales, garage sales, church sales, whatever. You guys all know. I primarily do clothing now, so I'm just in the clothing game for the most part. I still pick up hard goods if I see there's a profit there, and I only usually sell those locally because I don't really want to pack and ship all that stuff. So we're going to go through the stuff I got and why I picked it up. So if you like these, please do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and subscribe. I know people say that all the time, and I don't say it, but my wife's telling me you need to say it more often. So hit the like and subscribe. Sure, whatever, comment down below if you have any questions. Again, I'm a teacher, I love answering questions. So a lot of times you'll see me go live in a lot of videos or on here or whatever. I love interacting, but I can't interact right now. So I'm gonna interact with the clothes and pretend you guys are there. Um, and if you're watching this, this is 2023. So if you're watching this, like in two years from now, a lot of this may not apply to you, which means you guys have to look at relevant stuff. So if you look at thrift hauls, make sure it's current. Even a year ago, a lot of this stuff might not be worth money. So 2023, the end of summer. We're gonna go hit it off with and a good transition piece in the fall. Carbon de Cobalt is a brand that just doesn't go away. Ever since I got the clothing game in 2015, this brand just keeps selling. So as long as it sells, I'll pick it up. I'll probably get around $20 out of this. My average cost for everything here is around $5. So just pretend everything I'm showing you is $5. I'll tell you how much I think I'll get for it. And again, for everything I do, buyer pays shipping. And I only list stuff on eBay. I'm an only eBay person, it's just me. I don't have anyone else with me, it's just me, it's eBay. Um, I don't cross list or anything. Right now I don't plan on hiring anyone, but let's get back to the thrift haul. Carbon and Cobalt, that's the brand to look out for. Ooh, I wanna show you this too. So, and this is raw, guys. This is this is not edited. Um, this is a brand I don't normally pick up, Jose Banks. It has to be something special, whether it be a material, a big size, or it being seersucker. So I got this suit because it was seersucker and it was $10. So $10 suit, seersucker, and it's a newer Jose Banks. So it's got that stay cool fabric. It's actually just past the season for this, but I'll still list it. Now that I have auto posture, it will just relist and delist all year round. So next spring, if, if it takes that long to sell it, I'm cool with that. Here's something else I got, new with tags. Um, it's funny how like uh, some thrift stores put stuff out for a lot of money and then they have like a Tommy Bahama, bigger the better, uh, new with tags, $150, I bought it for five. So this is actually 100% linen. Stripes usually don't sell as well as other patterns, but still for $5, come on. Um, I'll probably get around 35, maybe 40 for this one. So you're not making a fortune as you guys know in this business, but it's a really good side hustle. And when I was a teacher, this is how I thought like, okay, if I sell a few things a day, that's gonna pay for a couple dinners that week, or that's gonna contribute towards a vacation that next year. So that's kind of how I thought about it. I never try to get those, you know, if you think really big picture, it's tough. Um, you can, but you can't think about that all the time. You got to think about just those little base hits and eventually those base hits and doubles will win the game. You'll get a grand slam or a home run every now and then. All right. So this is just regular North Face. It was six bucks. With North Face, I always like to look for something a little bit extra, like a wind wall. So this is a wind wall North Face. It's got a newer tag. Anything extra like an Apex or whatever. Gore-Tex, anything, usually helps out the value of a North Face jacket, whatever it may be. This is a Brooks Brothers um, tuxedo shirt. So tuxedos in general, I usually don't pick up because tuxedos don't do well for me. They're very, I mean, people don't pick those up very often. A lot of times people rent them, but the tuxedo shirts actually sell super well for me, especially if they're a good brand. Brooks Brothers is a decent brand, 
Um, but it's definitely, this shirt, believe it or not, will probably bring maybe $50. Uh, close to $50 just because it's this ruffled tuxedo shirt and it's in a good size. So 100% cotton tuxedo shirt. I like to pick these shirts up in Eaton, Brooks Brothers, any higher end brand. If it's like a Stafford or something, I pass over them. But for the record, Brooks Brothers, those do great. Let's do some women's clothing. Do not at me with women's clothing. So as you know, I've been selling men's clothing for a long time. I am just now getting into women's clothing because I want to go into the thrift store and be able to know just about everything in there that I can buy and maybe flip online for a profit, right? So don't get at me if I mispronounce some of these names, which I'm going to, like this, Athleta Athleta, whichever one it is. All I know is I know what to look for, that little symbol, and I love that they now say what they are underneath. So all I have to do is look on eBay, look up comps of that exact model. This one is Rise Up Rib, seven, eight tight. So that's what I'll look for. I paid $8 for these. I always look at the gusset and make sure, you know the gusset, you know what I'm talking about. Make sure there's no pilling down there and there's not. Um, very important though to look, look at the gussets. Look at the gussets. Along with that, I got a pair of Spanx. These are different thrift stores. So I've been expanding, expanding my, my realm of thrifting and sourcing. So these are just some Spanx. I guess you call these jean, pants, whatever. I just know Spanx are good, especially in bottoms. Tops, they don't sell as well. And for the record, they do make Spanx shirts for men. Those sell really well. So bolo on those. I've only found them one time ever. Usually when I find pants like this, with this kind of pattern, they're like Row or some something, Fabletics or something. These just happen to be Lululemon, right? Oh geez, lucky me. Yeah, so these just happen to be Lululemon. They're really small but you don't find patterns like this very often in Lulu. So I was really happy to find that. Again, five bucks um, into maybe 30. You guys know, if you've been following me recently, Lululemon has not been hitting like it used to. It's, think about it. The market's, it, it's been really hot for years and years and years. I obviously wear it. And the market just gets saturated more and more and more, which means more and more get donated, which means there's more and more online to buy. So the price gets competitive, people lower the price, supply and demand, right? So Lululemon, I'm a little bit more particular. I don't even pick up women's tank tops anymore unless they're like a brand new looking tank top, a Lululemon. This, speaking of Lululemon, is Lululemon. And you wouldn't know it because there's no tag, there's nothing, there's no little hit down there up there, but there is a little hidden label right there, Lululemon right there on the side seam. So that's how I found it. I know these because I've picked them up before, but these are just the men a dress casual shirt, $5 into about 25 or 30 for that one. Of course, I got this out just because it's a, a perfect topic. I did buy it this week. This is actually vintage. It's made in the USA. Peyton Manning, probably from the late 90s when he first joined the Colts, which is the best team in the NFL, by the way. They might not be the best team, but they're the greatest of all time. At least Peyton Manning is. Anyway, if it's fall, what I've done for years now in the fall or late summer, I always list all my NFL and college stuff, whether it be jerseys or polos or sweatshirts or whatever, because people are going back to college. And then when it comes to sports like football, everyone thinks their team is the greatest, like me. And everyone thinks we're gonna do so well and go to the Super Bowl this year. So everyone's hot to trot on buying that NFL or college gear right now. But in a few weeks or a couple months, most of the teams are gonna suck, to be frank, and no one's gonna to wanna to buy their, their gear. And it's gonna all go on clearance. So get that stuff listed now so people buy it. Otherwise, if you wait too long, like midway through the season, you're gonna have a tough time selling that stuff. Same goes with basketball season. Same goes with uh, masters in golf. Stuff like the master tech. I'll list my master stuff in the spring. All right, let's talk more showing. Tommy Bahama, just a silk, all over print. You guys know. Tommy Bahama is not my favorite, but if it's an all over silk, linen, whatever print, if it's obviously screams, I'm gonna pick it up for five bucks. Those vary in prices for me, but I usually make $20 minimum profit on them. This is a brand I've been talking about. I really don't pick up a whole lot anymore when it comes to their polo shirts. Their polo shirts just don't sell. The ones that do sell though, have a Titleist patch on the sleeve, which you really won't find very often. but ones that have a, a unique print. So if it's just stripes 
or if it's just solid or whatever, I usually pass it up. I don't even care if it's like three or four dollars. I just pass them up, they sit. And they've been sitting all season for me, so I don't wanna do it again. But this one has a unique pattern. So it has that unique pattern, that's why I picked it up for five dollars. I still sell this for around 18 or 20 plus buyer pay shipping, so I'm not making a ton off of this shirt. But it's got that unique pattern. I have another one down here somewhere, here's one. So here's another one, I might've got it with that, with that shirt. But see how it has that little hound's tooth pattern as well. So it's got that unique pattern. That's the only reason I bought them. So I'm pretty much over buying Foot Joy polo shirts that are plain. Pants, shorts, uh, jackets, that's a whole different topic. But polo shirts, those are going to be uh, different. We're doing women's right now, right? So we had the Athleta. We had, or Athleta, Athleta, whatever it is. We had the Lululemon. I also have been trying this brand out, and it's been doing well for me. So that little logo, Beyond Yoga. So Beyond Yoga has been doing well for me, especially if it's a good size. Um, this is a 2XL, so it's not constricting. This is a good size, and um, I expect to get around $20 for that one. I looked up, I actually did look up comps while I was in the store. I was that dude. Um, here's another pair of Spanx, and actually it's crazy because y'all females know, your style changes all the time. Look at why, look how wide these legs are. These would have been so out of style like yesterday, but they're in style now um, for some reason. So the skinny Spanx that are like, everyone got Spanx to tighten it up. Now they're popular in big old, big old ones like this, big leg like that. So flare openings or wide leg, whatever, they're more popular. So the last pair of these I had sold for almost $50, I, I think. I don't know, you tell me in the comments below. Just kidding. Um, here is a holster. Now, I'm not recommend, it just was on a cart, and anytime, just because I know with antiques, anytime there is some sort of nice label made in the USA or whatever, hopefully you can see that, that is, you can look that up easily on your phone. So I just looked up that uh, stamp, and I found that these are handmade, um, I think in Arizona, yep, in Phoenix, Arizona, and they're really nice. So I picked that up, it was only a couple bucks or whatever, and I think I can flip it into like 20 to $40. So that was just a no-brainer, super easy first class thing. Again, sometimes I'll pick up hard goods if they're worth shipping or whatever. Um, nothing to be said here other than I do like to get Tiger Wood polos that are, that are uh, Nike. So I'm not a big Nike fan of polos anymore because I have to pay four or $5 for them and they just don't flip unless they're like a Tiger Woods or a Blade Collar. Um, but that's, that's why I picked this one up. It's a Tiger Woods, it's a 2XL, it was $5. Here's something that I still haven't looked up. Sometimes I just get stuff that feels good, feels like quality, and I was doing a live thrift, and people told me that is actually a good brand. It sells for a lot new, um, but it just feels heavy. But the brand I think is called Gifted. I still haven't looked it up. So Gifted is the brand, um, and the tag looks like this, Gifted LA. Supposedly they sell for quite a bit retail. We'll see, again, I always say um, it's $5. I'd rather take a gamble on something like this than buying a lottery ticket, because I can. I know I'll at least get my money back out of it. Um, so that was a for sure thing. Here's a brand that is really good. Um, let me get this back in, hold on. All right, so here's a brand that's really good, Holderness and Born. It's, it's like, a, not quite as good as Roback, but it's better than Peter Millar right now. So this is a brand that I can totally see doing really well for a few, year, few years and then falling off. Kind of like Travis Matthew. I've been along, I've been doing it long enough that I've seen a lot of golf brands especially come up and go down. And then while they go down, another brand comes up. So like Travis Matthew, and then come down Roback, and they come down. So Robox still up top though. Um, so these are kind of them. These are kind of going on the up at the top. Uh, Holderness and Born. I got two of those, $5 each. Look those up online. You tell me how much they sell for. And you'll be like, I need to look those up. Or I need to find those. Here's a J. Crew. One of the only J. Crew button up shirts I will get are these Chambray, Cambray, however you uh, say it. I know how to spell it. I know how to look it up and list it. Chambray, Cambray, whatever you call it, Chambray. Um, but I get these, and if you're wondering how it feels, it feels like a linen shirt. So you would mistake it to be linen, but it's actually cotton. And so it looks like it's been washed a whole bunch of times. 
but these always sell for me. Whenever I have these and I list them right, around $20, maybe $22, they always sell for me. It doesn't matter what time of year. So those are for sure pickup. Back to the women's, right? Do not at me again, but I know Diane von Furschenberger, Burger Burger, Diane von Furschenberger. I know this is like a Nordstrom brand that does really well. So nice blue dress wrap. I actually looked this exact dress up. I found it. It's one, there was a comp for 80 bucks it sold. Um, again, kind of getting into the women's game. Again, and just women's clothing that is specific just to women's clothing. Obviously, if it's Lululemon, Viore, Patagonia, I'm gonna know what that is. But like a brand like this, they don't make it men's. So I got that brand. And that was only seven bucks. So I know that brand, I bought it new with tags before. I bought it new at Goodwill with tags and it sold for quite a bit of money. This looked like a Johnny was, it was with that dress. So I thought it was something special. And that Jay Marie, I looked up comps on this dress and one sold for $40. So right there in the store, I was that guy again, looking up women's clothing. So I'm a newbie with women's ish. I definitely know Kate Spade. And this dress right here, it's just so cute. It's just, just so cute, is it not? So it is actually an extra small. I am 6'2", 185 pounds, and look at this thing. So I don't know what's going on with this, but it is an extra small Brooks Brothers, and it's a Broom Street. Um, but the comps on this, there were like three of them that actually sold that looked just like this. So for $7.99, it was a for sure pickup. Here's a retail arbitrage item. So this Fair, Fair Harbor, I've sold from, um, I never knew about this brand until I looked it up one day in a, in a Goodwill. And Fair Harbor usually sells for around like $18 used. So when I found it for $10 new at the thrift store or at TJ Maxx, you know I was gonna pick it up. I actually picked up a whole bunch of different, different colors and I've actually sold some already. But I just picked this one up this week. Um, always look for those stores, Burlington, retail, uh, TJ Maxx, Norsen Track. Ross, those stores are, they're always having sales. They might have super sales like that yellow, uh, that yellow discount, but they're always putting stuff on sale. So you'll get a, you'll go in there just randomly and find like a Psycho Bunny or Peter Millar on sale. So you never, never know. Let's talk about some Carhartt. Carhartt hasn't been doing crazy well for me like it used to. It still does well. But um, the reason I got this is the size. It's the G-Force, but it's, yeah, G-Force, right? Or Force. Carhartt Force, C Force maybe. Um, G Force is a different brand, but $5 for this. And again, the bigger the better. It's like a polyester blend. It speaks for itself. Again, screaming. Check this out. Bam! Tommy Bahama for your mama. So, Tommy Bahama with that big hit on the back. Black Tommy Bahamas always sell really, really well for me. Um, and they always have. And especially when it has that hit on the back. Now be careful, because sometimes these are rayon and they don't, they feel just like silk. They don't sell as well as silk. So it doesn't mean don't pick them up, but make sure you check, make sure when you're, if you're having to pay up, make sure you check and see if it's silk, because otherwise it won't sell as well as a silk. Let's talk about, um, again, nothing really to explain here other than Peter Millar chinos. Bought these at the Salvation Army. Again, you see, Thrift stores, different thrift stores, Salvos, Goodwills, retail arbitrage. Some of this stuff came from the bins. Um, some came from garage sales. So lots of different things, different ways to pick stuff up. So there you go, Peter Millar, really nice pants. This is a newer tag. Um, and so I picked that, might even be, might even be a new with, without tag, but I'll probably list it as used for sure. It's in really good condition, that's why I say that. But anyways, these sell for in the 30s easy, um, especially with fall coming up. Super good pickup. Um, I'm not gonna go through all these, but you know how I feel about Polo Ralph Lauren. You know I do the surf sub method, and if you're new here, it's just coin surf sub method, but this year what I started to do, and people like to kind of at me as far as like, well, you're still taking time. No, let me explain it to you. So, if you're going to a thrift store and you're going down, oh, look, there's a North Face. Oh, there's a Polo Ralph Lauren. I can only make $10 on that, I'm gonna pass it up. What I started doing was I can grab that, since I'm already there, throw it in the cart, and since I've already sold so many, I can come home, take pictures within a minute, and list it on my phone, because I have so many listed in under a minute, just plug in the pictures, the color and the size, everything else is the same, shipping and everything. And so just by putting that in the cart, 
taking a minute taking pictures and taking a minute putting in my phone, that's an easy $10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, it just adds up. Those are just, again, for an everyday guy, those are, that's a pizza at night, you know what I mean? So that's how I think, you know, that's how I think. Um, this is a Arterix, or I thought it was. So I thought this was an Arterix because it had these snap buttons like that. And I was like, man, this is really good quality. I, Arterix has those snap buttons. I had no idea that they made Lululemon like this. So be on the lookout. This is definitely like some sort of nylon blend, but it's a Lululemon with these snap buttons. I've never found one before and I thrift almost every day, but be on the lookout for it. And it's stretchy, nice. Again, this will sell for probably around $30 or something and I paid five. Um, let me talk about AG. People ask all the time about AG. This used to be a super popular brand to pick up. Um, they sell it at Nordstrom's, really good brand, really good quality still. I would wear, I have AG, um, but they don't sell as well. I don't know why. I only pick them up in men's. I don't pick up any AG in women's. I have to pay $8 for my pants or jeans. Uh, these are pants, so I paid five, but I only pick up four kinds of men's. The Everett, like this, the Ives, the Everett, the Graduate, and there's another one, the Telus, <laughs> the Telus. I don't pick up um, the Protégé or the Hero. So I pick these up, I usually sell them in the 20s plus buyer pay shipping. Um, look, make sure, cause these are Nordstrom's and a lot of people will have them hemmed. Make sure they're not really short. There have been many times I got too excited, put them in my car, brought them home, and they're like a size 34 by 27 or something. And that just absolutely destroys the value. I always say longer is better. Stop it. Longer is better because, stop it, because, now my mind's off, because anyone tall, it fits everybody. So the whole gamut, tall people, and then whoever else, they can have it uh, hemmed up to however they need it. So I always like long, if I can get every pant at a 36, I would love it, because that just fits everybody's bill. Here's a Polo Ralph Lauren. It has a little spot here on the front, which I haven't, haven't even tried to get off yet, but it doesn't matter. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren newer down vest. Super nice, $5.99. This thing will sell for probably like 90 bucks, maybe 80, whatever. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna turn a good profit on that one. So that was a good pickup. Here's another pickup that a lot of people don't pick up. Lots of pickups, right? Um, Duluth Trading is not my not my favorite. It used to be really good. I almost picked up everything Duluth Trading. Not as much anymore. But here's a Duluth Trading pair of shorts. These are nylon. And these are like those nylon cargo dry on the fly shorts. Anytime I find these nylon uh, pants or shorts for a good price, these were five bucks at the Salvo, um, I pick them up. They sell, I don't think I have any in my store right now. I, I don't know if I want to say they sell like overnight. They don't but they sell pretty quick. They always sell for me. I would say like 100% sell through rate. Here's just the bigger the better again. Gosh, longer the better, bigger the better. Jeez, you guys better stop with that. Um, 3XL LL Bean, 3XL tall. So 3XL tall LL Bean quarter snap. If this was just a larger medium, more likely I wouldn't get this. I only got this because it was really big for $5. Um, again, this, and you might, you might, I don't know what your um, profit margin goal is with what your business, your model, whatever. But for me, I wouldn't have gotten it if it was a medium or large. But since it's really big, I got it. So it all depends on size for everything. Okay, we're done talking about that. Next item. Again, I have not looked up comps, but this was a super heavy, really good quality sweatshirt um, hoodie. And again, I was live thrifting. And people are like, oh yeah, that, that sells for good money. So I'm not really gonna tell you the brand because I don't want to tell you guys a lie, tell you it does really well, but it's uh, Twin twin Flames, Twin Flames, I don't know. But uh, it, again, for $5, that's what I'd rather buy. I'd rather buy that than a lottery ticket and everyone in the chat were looking it up at the time and said it was good. And again, there's always new brands. That's what's great about this. Along the way, there have always been new brands. There are brands that stick around, and then there are always new brands. And then there are brands that go out. So I've, I've seen the thrift stores price brands up that, have already, that are out of style while new brands are coming in. So 
Always keep up with the brands. Here's one that always stays in. That's just always stayed in. It just hangs around for forever. Polo Ralph Lauren. The only reason I picked this one up is because it's a full zip with the pockets. The quarter zip cotton ones like this, I don't pick up. So the quarter zip cotton, I don't pick up because they're usually shrunk or faded or they're just not the best looking. But this one's good. It's a good cardigan-ish type zip jacket, whatever you want to call it, for $5.99. I picked it up, obviously. Lululemon, I don't need to talk about it. Uh, Lululemon women's hoodie. Again, you can know right away by just looking at these right here. They'll say Lululemon on them or just look for that little hit on the back. You guys know that. Everyone knows Lululemon by now, um, even in the thrift stores. Um, obviously, they put it out. Here are two more Lululemon shorts, $3.99 a piece. Lululemon shorts always usually do pretty well for me. So I usually don't pass up on Lululemon shorts if they are cheap enough. So if they price them, one of our stores price them at $20, which is absurd, I don't pick them up. Um, here is a pair of Viore. So Viore is my favorite. I've been talking about this recently. It's my favorite athleisure athletic brand to purchase and resell right now. So Viore, they have a few different types of tags. Three that I think. One that has like a Ukrainian looking flag. Another one that just is all white that looks like this square and then one's a circle with a V. But I really like Viore. To me, right now, it sells better than Lululemon and Rome. Roan's really falling off. In fact, I now see Roan at like TJ Maxx. So that tells you anything. Let's do some teacher from a teacher. Let's do some teaching from a teacher. So my buddy gave me these pants. Um, as you guys know, you gotta make connections. Make connections around your town. I have friends who do just kids clothes and um, she just loves doing kids clothes and really doesn't wanna do anything else. Unfortunately, I don't know kids clothes or I'd give her more, but she picks up stuff and gives it to me from the bins. I also have friends that um, do vintage clothing. So there'll be $5 pieces that they make $25 on and I get that and just give it to them and then they get stuff like this, like Lululemon and give it to me because it's not their thing. So they gave me this Lululemon's men's pants. Well, let's talk about it. So see that hexagon Lululemon? We're just gonna talk about men's right now because I don't think women's have ever changed. That is the first generation of Lululemon. That is the first generation, it's the size of about a nickel, of men's Lululemon. The second generation was a dot, like they have on the women's. The third was the square, where you just see the four corners and the Lululemon in the middle. Now, we're back to the dot. So, I'm pretty sure there's, you can correct me in the comments, there have been four generations of Lululemon while I've been selling it. And I wear it, so I kind of keep up on it. So, we're back to the dot, and the answer so that is because they want everything to be unisex in the store. I asked them why they did that. Uh, here, here's actually a Lululemon shirt. So let's see what, let's see what generation this was. So this is third generation. I don't put that in my title. Um, I'll just put maybe a picture of it. Um, well, I definitely put a picture of it. But so that that right there is a third generation. So the hexagon, the dot, the square. Now back to the dot for men. Uh, the women I, again, I think has always had the dot. A good brand that's just solid is L.L. Bean. Again, you saw that big L.L. Bean. This is the L.L. Bean. I got these because they were new with tags. There were two of them. So, and they're thick shirts. And for five bucks, L.L. Bean just keeps on doing well. It's like, it's better than Eddie Bauer by far. Maybe not by far, but it's definitely a step above. I really buy Eddie Bauer. Um, and, and with this brand, uh, let's see, Southern Tide. The only ones I get out of Southern Tide are anything that's stretchy. Just for me, anything that's stretchy with Southern Tide, I get. So if it's shorts, if it's polos, if it's tops, whatever, I'll get it if it's $5. Um, if it's a Southern Tide that is a cotton, I don't pick it up. I won't even pick it up for $3. They just sit and sit and sit. Even the long sleeve cotton polos just sit. So uh, that's that, put that down there. And then check these out. Are these not fire? These are fire, fire. So Miami Heat basketball shorts. These are like a, their special like little edition. And they were only, they were eight bucks. I paid up a little bit for them. They priced them up. But these were pretty cool. Seems that um, the old, the old Adidas, Adidas used to sponsor NBA and they used to be called the Swingman shorts. 
um, the Adidas with the big stitching, those sell really well along with any of the Nike with the stitching. So if they're really high quality, these are super heavy with the stitching embroidery or the team logo, they do really, really well compared to not. So again, it's 2023 July. The movie Barbie just came out. I picked this up because it's almost brand new condition and it looks like Barbie. I'm going to list this like yesterday because right now everyone wants to dress up like Barbie and go to Barbie. So I'm going to list this. I'm going to put Barbie in my title and sell it. It was $5. Normally, I don't pick up these Vineyard Vines anymore that are women. They just don't do well for me. That's the only reason I picked it up. Shoot, I might even sell it locally on Facebook Marketplace. I don't even know. Uh, we'll just talk about a couple more things so I can let you guys go. Um, Johnny O. Again, Johnny O is is a brand that I pretty much only buy anything stretchy. So Johnny O, here's another shirt. You'll know it by the dude on the back. Most of you guys know Johnny O by now, but that's the little guy you're looking for, the little surfer guy. And if it's stretchy, I'll get it. So if it's that wicking golf material or bathing suits or whatever, I'll pick it up. Or even the long sleeve button up shirts, I'll pick them up if they're stretchy. But if they are cotton, they don't sell as well as they used to. That's another example, one of those coming down. Johnny O and Travis Matthew, which here's a Travis Matthew with all over print. They were both really doing well, really hot, maybe like 2019. And ever since they've kind of plateaued, now coming down and their new ones coming up. Um, I think a lot of you know that by now. Oh, let me show you my shoes. Okay, so we'll leave off with three pairs of shoes. Again, I don't get shoes that often. They don't, they take a lot of the shoes and put them um, for a lot of money. So I don't get shoes that often, but when I do, I do. Let's start off with the retail arbitrage shoe. If you don't know what that is, it's you're just buying it at a store and then reselling online. So you're buying it at a regular store, not a thrift store, and reselling it no matter what, uh, online or whatever. But here are these Johnson & Murphy, which isn't the greatest brand, but a Johnson & Murphy with um, these golf bottoms. So these are, these are called soft spikes, which a lot of really good golf courses require now. You can't have the normal spikes on the shoes because it tears up their uh, greens. So these have the soft spikes, they're waterproof, and they have that saddle look to them. So they were originally $80, I got them for 30, and the comps online are over 100. So I, will, I picked these up um, for 30 bucks again. I think that was a good pickup. I haven't really picked up many shoes retail arbitrage, but I'm definitely gonna keep it on my radar from now on. These were from Marshalls. Two more pairs of shoes. One of them, uh, I either have one in my store right now or sold recently, but Brooks always do well and they always make these special colorways. So obviously this is like a 4th of July, red, white, and blue. We have our stars, we have our stripes, we have our red, white, and blue, uh, and the tread's really good. So tread matters. And then also price, obviously. These were 10 bucks. I think I can flip these for around 40. Again, you wanna look with Brooks and Asics, they'll have the model usually right here. These are Launch 7. So the higher the number, the newer model it is. So like I found a Launch 4 with these. Those are three years older than this pair right here. And then of course, you know me, I love my Disney. But here's some Disney Crocs, uh, special edition. I was in a live chat with these as well, or a live thrift. And people were like, oh, those are special edition. They're a little bit beat up on the bottom and they were uh, $9. But I thought Disney, Crocs, they're gonna sell. Pick these up. And uh, again, anything Disney that's unique always sells well for me. Again, I hope you learned something. I know I ranted, whatever, but these are the type of videos I loved watching when I first got started because there were always new brands I'd be on the lookout for or find or figure out or learn. And I loved learning and I loved hustling and, and reselling. So appreciate it. Again, thumbs up, get that video out. Let's get some more people in here. Subscribe. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Surf's up.